For years, the American Muslim Council was touted as the most mainstream Muslim group in the U.S., but recently its founder and longtime chief, Abdul Rahman Alamudi, has come clean about some bad business, admitting taking money from the Libyan government, funding known terrorist organizations, and being involved in a plot to kill Saudi Crown Prince Abdullah. Alamudi was once described as a pillar of the Muslim community, meeting with the Clintons and attending a 9-11 memorial service. Uh, join me now with his reaction to this is Hussein Ibish, Washington correspondent for the Daily Star. Mr. Ibish, welcome to the program. It's good to be with you, Stuart. Thanks. What is the reaction amongst the American Muslim community to this? Well, I think people are really shocked. Um, for five years, until July 1st, I was communications director for the, the largest Arab American membership group, the ADC. Uh, and uh, so I, I sort of uh, had gotten an opportunity to uh, know Mr. Alamudi in passing at various events and what have you, and to gauge the esteem in which he was held in the community, which was very high, because he was one of the early figures who started forming Arab American political, or, or rather American American Muslim, excuse me, uh, political organizations in the 1990s. He was an, an early figure, and he'd managed to raise a lot of money for uh, good causes. So really, I think there were, in the circles I moved in, there were some doubts about his judgments and statements he'd made, uh, but there was respect for these efforts. So I think people across the board, both sort of people who are inside organized uh, American Muslim and Arab American organizations and the community more broadly, are absolutely flabbergasted. How can the broader society, but, yeah. but how can the broader society society yeah. now now trust whom right. we believe to be moderate Muslims where's yeah, the trust I mean, gone here yeah you're absolutely right this is a a fabulous amazing extraordinary betrayal of trust uh, by uh, mr. Alamudi to the, the constituency that he was representing because of precisely the problem you raise now there are going to be questions about everyone that he was connected with it's not fair but that's the way the world is there are going to be questions about uh, all of the the uh, American Muslim well, organizations. The, the questions now, they, you're talking they, about, yeah. though, I mean, mm -hmm. that, that implies that Muslims have always objected to the very close scrutiny to which mm. they've been subjected since 9 11. How can yeah. you object now? Well, I mean, I think you can still object to people being scrutinized just on the basis uh, of their faith or their ethnicity. Uh, but I think that, you know, it's obviously where people have committed crimes, they need to be investigated. No one is protesting uh, that Mr. Alamudi has been railroaded. Nobody is saying he should be forgiven. But I do think it calls on, uh, on, on American Muslims to be, uh, you know, sort of introspective about how it is uh, that we've been betrayed by someone who was an important figure in the community in this way. But I think it's also incumbent on the broader American society to remind themselves that this is one man, and he may have been using these issues as a front for yeah. nefarious purposes, but they're will, still will, real and important will issues. Will there now be a much greater degree of cooperation between Muslims and the authorities? I mean, well, if, if you I, I, see yeah. someone, if you're yeah. a little suspicious, yeah. uh, would you turn them in? Oh, if I were suspicious of someone, I would, and I think that that's happened in the past. I mean, if you look at some of the high-profile cases, the case in Lackawanna with six guys being uh, discovered to have gone to an Al-Qaeda training camp and other cases like that around the country, cooperation from the community at a grassroots level has been very good. And I think okay. the FBI realizes yeah. that. We need to work more on that. Is, but is, I, is I, there, I, I must ask, know, though, yeah. I must sure, ask, because I'm an yeah, outsider absolutely. to your community, but Fine. is there an element of intimidation within your community to people who will stand up and say terrorism in all its forms is flat out wrong and Muslims yeah. should not engage. Are those no, people intimidated? Isn't. No, there isn't. What there is, though, is there's a sense of solidarity, uh, where solidarity, there's a feeling of being besieged. There's a, a sense that thousands of people have been uh, singled out unfairly and mistreated, and that a lot of what is said about us uh, in the media and by some government officials and what have you isn't true. So there's this kind of circling of the wagons, which makes it very difficult for us now to have a, okay. a full, frank discussion about Alamudi, but we're going to have it. Okay, and, I'm, you I know, must you just apologize. Watch us over, the, over the next few weeks. Time. Happen. Hussein Thank Ibish, thanks for being with us, sir.